Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art. This is uh, segment three for Coffee and Art in the Morning on Monday morning. Uh, we did a little bit of Happy Mail and Studio update. <laughs> Sharon L. did, Vicki. I did a uh, recording of it. Yeah, we're just talking about the post-it notes that Sharon sent. And then I showed my Hoo Hoo Hero markers. And then we did a segment on a color book koi fish page. And now I want to draw a big koi fish like we did um, Blue Moon last Monday. And this is Canson Illustration Art Boards. I bought it. There's 10 boards in here. And it's, it's you know, heavy matte board, Canson. And um, I got it on sale, regularly $20 at Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance for $11.99. So I bought the 10 and we did, and it is nine by 12. So we did the blue moon using just one color of blue and wa it's watercolor, one color of um, blue watercolor. We did this whole thing in blue. So now I'm going to, <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure I missed what uh, Eileen said about the post-it note that I want to send her. So now I'm going to use my Graph Gear 1000 0.7 lead, blue lead. The reason I like the blue lead is it doesn't smear, doesn't smear when I draw, and it also erases easy. So I don't know how well you're going to see me be able to, you know, see this being drawn before I start painting it. But um, I want to do a, a nice big koi fish taking up the whole thing here, probably going off the edge, like the tail and stuff. And then I want to do it in the orange, the yellowish orange and black spotted koi fish with watercolor. That's the plan. <laughs> what did Eileen say? <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> I have a few reference pictures of some koi fish and I want him to fit in like I want his back side to be here you should maybe be able to see it a little bit and then his tail is he's going to come around this way and then his tail will go off the edge kind of like the uh, like I did the uh, lionfish because I want him to fill up the whole page just why not, right? So something like that. I don't want it pointy there, though. I don't want it kind of wavy. All right, so, and then he's going to end up over here, his mouth, all the way down here. So I'm just kind of fitting him in. <laughs> you can see the pencil. Okay, you can see the pencil mark. All right, so he's got, you know, they kind of look like, I, they may be a version of a catfish, a type of catfish. I'm not sure. They kind of look like a catfish, and their little whiskers. I don't have his whiskers coming right off the page. His little mouth there. And I'm just erasing with the white eraser. The, the pencil does have an eraser in it, but I, I know that if I take this cap off and use this eraser, I'll lose the cap. So I just as soon not use that eraser, just pick this one up. So <laughs> that's the only reason that I'm using this. <clears throat> okay, so in his back, I want him to come around this way and kind of swirl like that. And then his back fin is, it's you know, he's it's kind of a, you see a little bit of his back tail there, and then that's going to go right off, and then I'll have another little couple of fins here. And I'm going to exaggerate them and make them even more fluffy than they might be. Although I have seen some pictures of them that are real fluffy. I mean, they have like, she wants a flamingo fish. <laughs> um, I've seen some that have huge uh, fluffy, like the angel fish, how their fins are real flowy. I've seen some of these koi fish have those as well. I'm not going to have the, as, quite as much as that as a uh, angelfish, but oh. 
I'm afraid to ask what Vicky's saying. All right, and so this one's behind, so I'm going to have it kind of be very flowy. Oh, I want it to flow instead of this way. And the last one we did, the blue one, with just the one color, though it did really well. The board held up really well. At the Japanese gardens we have down here, they have beautiful koi fish in their ponds. Yeah, I, I'm, I really loved it, just the looks of the orange. Uh, you weren't here, Eileen. Let me show you what we worked on last hour in this color book here. This, and we didn't finish, obviously, but this is what we're working on in this color book. We just got this section done right here. All this is still to be done. But we used watercolor and then went back in with color pencil and then the white Posca marker. So, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Maybe a couple little things here. I kind of like the squared out look. I like it a little squared off like that. And then this whole section could be kind of that a few all right and then this one has a little bit coming off here I kind of you know I really want it to come off the page Yeah, I like the lily pads. Now, I just want to do the fish here, though. This is just kind of like playing with our board. And this is going to come off. It'll, it'll come in here. A little bit more, I think. I really want this big. I want it, I want it to fill this page. So, how far out do I want this to go? Maybe something like that far. Something like that. Really needs to not quite, not quite that big. There we go. I think something like that. Maybe a little fatter face. I think that's good there. And then this will all be flowy. Flow right off the page. Oops. Maybe a little dip there. Go off the page. Okay, something like that. We're gonna roll with we're gonna roll with this. Okay, and so again, I'm going to use these colors that are in the um, Jane Davenport. I think it's their, the skin colors. These are the colors in the set. And that's the colors we used in the koi fish in the color book, and that's what we're going to use here too. All right. So, now I need another reference. I have, I have three references. Well, actually I have four, but no, I have five. But um, I have one because I wanted the shape of this one. But I wanted, do I want it more orange or do I want it more, mm, kind of like both. Could have some that has more orange, some that has more black. Let's just try this one. Let's go with this, these colors. Let's see if I can set my iPad up over here somewhere so I can reference my colors. Come back to mama. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, let me wet my palette again. And spray it down. Just 
just going to get it wet. Then I'm going to add, let's see, let me clean this off because I want orange in there. Just have a little bit of water there to play with. So what I want to do, get a nice bigger brush. I bought a whole bunch of brush. I showed this last time. I got, it had, um, I don't know, I think there's probably like 50 brushes for it. Just at Michael's. They're the cheap craft brushes. Um, probably about maybe 50 for regularly $8. And half of them have the brown, half of them have the brown brush. And then half of them have this, uh, nylon white which that's my favorite to use with acrylic and just and I'm not doing like a watercolor painting so that's you know you, you really want soft and I do have some of those mop brushes and, and soft brushes for watercolors but I'm just playing here with some watercolor so I'm just going to use these so anyway I got a, had a 50% off coupon so I uh, got them for four bucks for like 50 brushes <laughs> all right so what i'm going to do is because i want it yellow orange and black splotch right bye valerie thanks um i think i'll just start with the body here first and wait wait on the uh wait on the what do you call it the fence and i'm just going to wet the board here and this is not watercolor paper it's just smooth almost like illustration board so I'm just going to kind of wet it, not quite up, you know, it, it will probably feather out if I'm not careful. I just want to kind of get it wet because I'm going to splotch in the orange, the two oranges and the black and no particular, I mean, it's kind of, I'm kind of looking at some splotchy fish designs, but you're welcome, Valerie. So I'm going to start with the orange color here. And what I want to do is kind of make, that's going to be mostly the most color. So I'm going to kind of splotch it in. This is going to be quick, guys. Then I'm going to pick up the darker orange. And if it gets too, like, see how it's kind of square? I'm going to pick up some more water here. And just kind of, I'm just kind of making it splotchy. Can you all see that? Yeah, let's stay in camera. <laughs> I probably should have uh, uh, erased some of my blue line before I hit it with the paint, but that's okay. I just want you to kind of see what we're doing here with the quick little watercolor koi fish, right? And he also needs one going down his back. Do I want that in the black or darker orange? Well, I'll have to let that dry anyway before I do this. this the ones, the one um, fin going down his back. Illustration board is good paper quality here. Board wrap, easy and cool. So board, if you're to finish, use this school. Yeah. Thanks, Jay-Z. Yeah, this is just, you know, like I said, I just bought this illustration, this, you know, illustration uh, mat board for uh because it was on sale for half price so something like that and i'm going to go in here at the black in a second but i'm going to go ahead and let me just wet i'm going to do one little section at a time here so i'm going to do the fins and the fins aren't quite as splotchy at least the ones that i've seen here so but i'm going to do And this is just a little one there. Let's just put a couple little. Just a little bit of watercolor play. And Jean is going to do some more glass work on her watercoloring today. That's going to be awesome. So just so you can kind of see how we're going to play, you know, you can play with a little bit of watercolor. His so eyes are going to be black. And do I want, let's just go ahead and do those little. There 
it looks good already okay <laughs> All right, now let's wet down this fin. This is just a little quick, this is just what I wanted to do, a little quick um, koi. I'm put some black in it, so, and I hope that doesn't, we don't mess it up completely, but we're going to have black splotches in here too. <laughs> yeah, the colors are nice in this set. I've I uh, swatched them out somewhere, and then I just kept the. Here's the colors on the little. These are what they were wrapped with. Each of the little pans were uh, were wrapped with these colors. I didn't buy the other set. The other set has the bright colors. I just bought this set. It looks very coyish. <laughs> <laughs> and I want a few little extra fin wave things, you know, make them a little more fluffy, kind of tilt turn maybe. Okay, now let's wet this last one up here. Something like this. All right, so now I want to have a little bit of black. So I'm just going to pick up and let's just see if we can do a little bit of the black splotches. Because if you've seen the koi fish that have some of the black splotches, now I'll probably have to do two coats because it's probably going to go kind of green on us. I may not even need to water down. Like I added some water here. I think I'm liking it better up here where I'm not adding the water. So let's just see here. Maybe under the belly a little there. Get a couple coats here. Let's do his eyes. And just a touch in this little and maybe a little light on that there. Anyway, guys, hope we all have a good Monday. Janet, I think, is going to do something cool. I'm not going to say it on the recording because she may want it to be a surprise. And if she does, I don't want to ruin the surprise. All right, so that's kind of starting to set there. I really need to hit it with the heat gun and get that dry so I can add a couple more little layers here. Maybe a little bit there because i got to do a, a, a fin going down his back. So let's see how, where do I want that? It's gonna, it would come around this way. It usually starts about right here, I think, and then goes back this way. That. So let's add that. Let's bring it up a little like that. And then back in here, I need a little bit more orange because that flows around this way. A little bit of orange. Mm. 
Maybe a little bit of yellow or color. Let's see. Lighten that up a little. What do y'all think? How's he looking? All right. Now I just want the smallest amount of black kind of coming through. Maybe a couple little, not much, tiny bit. Maybe a little at the base of his tail here. It curves around. All right, let me dry them and then I'm gonna add another layer of orange. So, one moment. This illustration board is holding up really nice with the watercolor. Alright, so let's tilt it a little so you can see a little bit better color. There you go. That's a little better color right there, guys. Because I do have the light right there. Alright, so now I'm going to go back in with... Let me add a little bit of water here. And get a little bit more. I don't like that little bit of splotch in there. Don't want to get it too red. That's too red for the clay X. Too red. There we go. That's better. So pretty. Okay. Just a quick little koi. All right, I'm a little darker right along that back flip. It's too red though. Oh, Orange that down. Too red again. Picked up too much red. There we go. That's better. Okay.
Bye, Vicky. I don't want to overdo. I need to, I need to make sure I leave my white areas, you know. Do I want some bubbles around them? What do I want? Something like this, and maybe a little more yellow right along. Come on. I think something like that. I ought to just leave it. I think I better leave it. I don't want to overdo. I've already kind of almost overdone. So, yeah. A little quick koi fish. A little quick watercolor koi fish. Do want a few little bubbles, maybe. Let's see. Let's get a floppy brush here. I'm going to get some. Let's go with the orange here. Maybe just a little bit darker there. Okay. I think we'll go with that. Thanks, guys. It's just a little quick something, you know. Just to show you. This, what I really wanted to do this for was to show you this is the same way I did color the fish in this color book here. I did these fish the same way, just tinier. See right there? So, yeah. So, anyway, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed that. And, um, yeah. I guess I will go and I will see you over at uh, Janet's in about an hour. Well, 45 minutes. About 45 minutes Janet comes on. And then Jean comes on at 4. 4? E and this is Eastern Time. If y'all are watching me here on YouTube now, the recording, I stream every Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern on Ustream.tv and uh, most every Monday, most Wednesdays, and some Fridays. So, um, yeah, links were closed. Did you, um, do you need links open? The only thing I'm not liking is this right here. I'm not liking the uh, harsh black line right there. I'm gonna, probably going to do a little pickup here. I don't like the line right there. That black line. Let's see if I can kind of make it a little oranger. That's a little better. Maybe with just a little bit more there. Just got a little too much black right there on that edge. That's better. Okay, guys, thanks for being here. And uh, we'll see you over at uh, Janet's. Bye, guys.